And uh, all right, well, I'm just going to finish off now, folks, with uh, stage four in uh, this little series, this little four stage or four part series on uh, to do with you know the marketing strategies that I've been using or planning to use in the future. Uh, but basically, up till now, I've been covering the strategies that I've used since 2006. Now I'm going to share with you some strategies that I'm going to be embracing in the future. Uh, now the first one is to do with uh, holiday seminars. Now I have actually put my toe in the water and run our first travel seminar. So it's not like completely a future strategy. I have actually done one of them. But it was more of a test than anything else. I was, very, I was happy with the test even though in some respects it was a total operational debacle. But uh, the fact of the matter is that there were people who were interested, there were people who, who attended. They came along despite uh, all the adversity that we threw in front of them. I won't bore you with it. Go and uh, look on my blog and I, I you know, roll out the story about what happened on that first night. So um, that was really a little test. But the real serious uh, travel seminars will, will be starting uh, within, uh, within the month. And uh, basically we, uh, we want to promote the product. We're not just about promoting the business because uh, one of the nice things about this product is that there is a market for it. There's a standalone market for it, it without the business, okay? And uh, I want to be able to demonstrate that time and time and time again to people that this product will sell without any business opportunity attached. It's, it's a product that's about good times, about fun times. It's a product that people want to talk about, they want to hear about. And uh, once they understand that we're extremely good value compared to, say, timeshare programs, um, more often than not, once they've been educated, more often than not, they'll get involved sooner or later. So uh, we're running uh, travel seminars, uh, and uh, we've, as I say, we've got the first one coming up, uh, the first of the proper ones coming up uh, within the month, and then we've got a series of them planned after that. So that, I think that'll be a very successful program. And certainly, um, if you have an interest in getting involved with that sort of a program, uh, just talk to me and I'll be happy to share more information with you. Another thing that I plan to do in the future is to um, upgrade uh, my fan pages on Facebook. Um, there's more tinkering to be done there, which will help to improve um, you know, the result. Uh, I also uh, would like to be able to, as I said, I think in the, the last uh, stage segment, I'd like to be able to do more work in LinkedIn, which is another great social networking site. And the, f the final thing that I plan to do in the future is to expand uh, this great uh, business opportunity and promote this great product into our near north neighbours in Southeast Asia. You know, there's a, a growing band of middle class people in Southeast Asia. Now, um, these economies are generally, you know, strong growth economies. They're growing faster than, say, Australia or New Zealand is. And uh, more and more people are making money. And uh, one thing I do know is that, and that is that, you know, they, uh, they like to spend their money on good things, including travel, which is my industry. But um, they also like to make more money. And, uh, you know, if you can offer them some sort of a, an opportunity, uh, well, maybe they'll take your arm off for it if it's the right one. And it needs to be presented properly. And, you know, there's no, you know, it's not a wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. Relationship, relationships have got to be built uh, just the same. But um, this is what I plan to do. And um, I'm, you know, about to do it. In fact, I have been um, promoting via advertising into Southeast Asia over the last, uh, over the last month or so. And uh, I'm in the process of um, visiting the region. Okay, well, I'm about to. So um, that gives you an idea for the future. There's lots of exciting things that you can do from a marketing viewpoint. It's a very exciting area. I love marketing. I've always loved it. It fascinates me. There's a real science to it, but there's also a little bit of trial and error to it. And that's, that sort of makes it interesting. There's no absolutely proven formula, but there are certainly proven principles. Uh, there are proven strategies. But uh, you know, when it comes down to the detail, uh, we've got to refine the little detail points and uh, test them and improve them a little bit more. And then from that point, you'll normally get a great result. So you've got to, you've got to um, you know, move forward in faith. You've really got to move forward in faith, even if you've never done anything like this before in your life. Uh, you need to move forward in faith, 
hold the hand of your sponsor, the person that uh, is introducing you or helping you get started. Use their confidence, borrow their confidence. Because in the early stages, let's face it, you need it, okay? So another piece of advice for you. I hope you've enjoyed this little uh, four part series on uh, what's working now. And uh, if you've got any questions, uh, you know, any feedback or whatever, um, just send me an email or give me a call or catch me on Skype or Facebook. Always happy to talk. Look forward to maybe connecting with you in the future. Bye for now.